All right, YouTube, I've got the uh, got a Chevy Volt here. I just cleared a service high voltage charging system error that you typically get here. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did that, try to recreate it here. I currently have it charging, so I just fixed it. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the charger. So it's no longer charging. I do that for, I don't know, I need to do that for this. Um, <laughs> the anti-tamper bracket you just lift up on and it gets out of the way. I'm not really sure what his job in life is. If you ever feel useless, just look at this bracket. You'll feel better about yourself. Um, so <clears throat> what happens is there's a float in here. You can't really see it's down there in the bottom inside the uh, deck's cool. Um, and then down here is the sensor and it's just a little hall effect sensor. It's outside of the tank. I'm not gonna pull it out. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to change. It's just a little simple Hall effect uh, sensor. There's a magnet in this float, and once that magnet gets close to the sensor, then it will throw the service high voltage charging system error because it thinks that there's no more coolant in this tank, so it shuts everything down. Okay, so I got my screwdriver, and I'm gonna try to poke this float down. That holds the magnet. Not much to see here, sorry. But basically simulating that I'm out of coolant. Now, I don't know if the car needs to be on when that happens. Let's find out. Okay, so I was able to use a screwdriver and air out my car again. So go me. So I just intentionally broke my car for a video. Uh, I got that by oops, got that by using a screwdriver to push down that float and it took out the sensor. So that's how I took that out. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the motor. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the cap under this tamper anti-tamper bracket. And the purpose of this anti-tamper bracket is that if this error ever happens, the intention is for you to go to the dealership so they can properly uh, burp, get all the air out of the system, uh, bleed the system out. Um, I actually uh, lost the radiator in this and I had to do it myself. Um, it just took me a while. I, I was able to get this uh, bled out. It just took a, a kind of a long time. So uh, it can be done, but that's why they put this bracket in here so you and then they air out the car. They put the car in an air state that only the dealership supposedly can fix. So that's why um, I'm showing this video is how to do this. So make sure that you have coolant in here. If you don't have coolant in here, you have a problem. You need to get that fixed. Figure out where this went, why it's leaking, and get that taken care of. But in my case, um, this just happened. I had plenty of coolant in here. It's obviously not an issue. This is how full it is supposed to be. Okay, so I have my sacrificial uh, MacBook Pro um, Windows 10 partition, which is almost all uh, V6 Nano stuff. I got a few other random things uh, on here. Nothing I care about. There are a lot of viruses that come with this software. Um, this uh, VCX Manager, VCI Manager. Um, you'll need a lot of this different stuff. I'm going to make another video how to break all this stuff down once I understand it better myself. But uh, I'm back in my car. Uh, Service high voltage charging system, so it won't charge. Um, I plugged in uh, the V6 Nano to my laptop and then into the car and then I go ahead and launch uh, GDS2 without uh, opening anything else. Uh, if you ever mess around with these V6 Nanos, there's 18 different pieces of software and it can be kind of persnickety. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open that, give it a second here, totally legit GM splash screen. Play some Jeopardy background music here. It's thinking. Okay, diagnostic. So we've got the license, everything's happy. I'm going to connect the device. Okay, great. It's got it. Uh, it does have the correct VIN here. 
Yes, I'm not driving right now. Thank you for thinking of my safety. Uh, module diagnostics, hybrid powertrain control module two. Okay. DTC display. Okay, here they are. So I tricked it into thinking the coolant level low and there was other charging system disabled. Um, I got the two codes here. Uh, I also had another one earlier. It was something about um, voltage high on that sensor. So I'm not really sure what the difference is. I think that sensor is just going bad. Uh, so in my case. Uh, so anyways, what I want to do is I want to clear DTCs. I don't want to make this so hard. Add. Okay. Yes, I want to clear all DTCs. Okay. No DTC stored. You really come up here, it's gone. Um, so, uh, just for fun, I'll turn the car off and back on again. You can see it. Whoops. No check engine light. No error message. It's good to go. So, uh, in short, this is how to do uh, reset this without having to buy the AC Delco TIS um, it was the software package, I can't think of what it's called where you have to um, uh, pay 40 bucks for that subscription for two years uh, it, it is worth it in some cases I, I did buy it for this car, I did go through that and rewrite reflash the HPCM2 module once um, before I knew to do it here through GDS2, but I was able to also update some other modules as well, so it does have some functionality there, so I don't really regret it. But anyways, uh, just an overview, I use GDS2 to clear the service high voltage charging system so you don't have to buy the $40 package from uh, AC Delco. So then just go through, back, 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 uh, till you can see the home button. Uh, and you're here, and then you can close out of this. There you have it. So, ready to charge car. That's uh, how the the magnet works, the, the sensor works. Um, in this case, I think my sensor is just going bad. Uh, some people, I don't know why, what makes it go, why, why it would happen, why the sensor is going bad, if it's going bad internally, if it's a wiring issue. Uh, if it's just a magnet issue, if it's just, I don't know, uh, my wife was driving, had a big bump and splashed the fluid. I, you know, I, I really have no idea why that sensor tripped, but this is how you can clear it and how that system works.